Hello friends, this is third part of our third person game tutorial series. In this video, let's make our character sprint when we press keyboard input. So uh, first we stop last time this in here. So now we can move our character and uh, animations are working perfectly so uh, you can see there is uh, material problem so I first uh, I fix this it's easy uh, I forgot to change these two materials in previous video so uh, I change these materials change blend mode to a back okay now it's look like perfect all right uh, I need to make this flow a little bit long because I I don't have any space to move my character so I change this size and I save this map into my content folder I make new folder maps, and file save current to the maps like this okay now I can I have uh, more space to move my character okay now uh, we have to define sprint input so uh, first go to the edit fix settings and input so uh, in previous videos we define our movements and mouse movements axis mapping case so uh, sprint is not the axis mapping it's the action mapping so I make new action mapping key Maybe sprint I assign left shift okay now I have sprint action so uh, I get my sprint event like this now I told you earlier when we change our character movement components max warp speed it will increase or reduce our character's movement speed so uh, if we need to sprint our character we should change this movement max warp speed value uh, I change this value to 800 so uh, I need to change this value when I press this sprint key so how do we do that let's see I get character movement component set max warp speed like this so uh, when we press our sprint action I need to change my max warp speed to 
800 and I release my sprint action key I need to reset this value to 600 like this let's see what happens more like this when I press shift you can see my player moves faster than previous when I release my key it will go down to that speed all right uh, no uh, there's no any animation changes so I need to change my animation to run to sprint so I will go to the Mixamo website and search for fast run keyword then you can find these animations and I will see the first animation named fast run and I download this without skin right now I will import that animation to my content select skeleton and import And, uh, make sure you should download this animation in in place all right now we have fast run sprint animation so I have to change this blend space uh, my maximum value now is 800 and my previous running animation should be changed to 600 and my new fast run animation should be assigned to 800 like this let's see now running and sprinting like this running and sprinting now you can see our character have little bit of snap when my character move like this so now I can blend this movement blend this animation perfectly go to the blend space and change this interpolation time view this interpolation time like 0 0.0 to 0 0.2 in plane now you can see my player my player transition animations are blending perfectly it's not snapping now like this all right that's all for today video uh, in next episode I'm planning to make our character crouch moments so uh, subscribe to our channel share this video and keep with us thank you